What's up YouTube? It is time for another trip to the thrift. There are dogs barking and they are going absolutely frantic over these deals. I'm hoping. I'm about to go to the barber shop real quick because my hair is atrocious. I actually had to cut it, which I'm kind of sad about if you guys know or if you guys follow me at all. It was super long and I was super happy about it, but I gotta get it cut. So I'm gonna hit the barber shop, go hit some thrifts, and hopefully I can find some deals. There's a car coming and they're probably wondering why this weirdo has his camera pointed at him in his car parked outside of his house and it just so happens to be my neighbor. That's really awkward. All right, just left the barber shop, clean cut, ready to go. Still wearing a hat because I almost always wear hats regardless of how my hair looks. But anyways, I'm going to go to the thrift store. I think first I'm gonna hit a thrift store in Citrus Heights, then head down to Sacramento and hit the thrift towns down there. So stay tuned on this adventure to find some amazing thrifted treasure. Blow! We got this St. John's Bay button up right here. This thing is super, super soft on the outside. Really comfortable, pretty thick. It'd be really nice for laying and keeping me warm. It's five dollars and eighty cents, so I am gonna try it on, see if it fits. If it fits me, then I'll definitely get it. We got this USA London jacket right here, pretty good condition, but it looks a little small. Oh, that's fucking cute. Kids at heart, and then the song playing is that uh, "Feel Like the Cool Kids" song. How adorable! This thing is actually pretty sick. I'm gonna try it on. It's like a canary yellow. The uh, camera makes it look a little bit lighter than it actually is, but it's in perfect condition. Not a single mark on this thing, so. I'm going to try this on. Shout out to the style file and name brand one time, of course, Jasper Canada. Look at these Zodiac sign cups. That's where I have the lamest Zodiac sign, the Ram. Like, what a lame Zodiac. I'd rather be like a Gemini or a Scorpio or something cool. Or maybe even a Leo. Like, a Leo would be pretty dope, you know? But instead, I got this weak-ass Ram. Right here, we have a really dope 49ers logo athletic jacket, as you guys can see. Let me flip it around for you one time. You got the SF right there, logo athletic. You got the detail on the sleeves. However, it is XL and it's 1480, so I'm not gonna get it. I did add this to my Snapchat timeline, so if someone hits me back and offers me a right price for it, I will uh, sell it to them and ship it to them. If you guys wanna follow me on Snapchat, definitely do that. I'm gonna start posting the stuff that I don't wanna buy like right then and there, because I'm not sure if I can resell it. And uh, basically, last time there was a lot of stuff that I found where people were like, oh, I would've bought that, blah, blah. So if you guys are like that and you guys see anything that you guys would've bought, Definitely follow me on Snapchat, which is at the Star Life, and I will post things that I find that you guys might want throughout my trip to the thrifts. Really sick pullover Nautica rain shell. They must not know about Nautica because they're only charging two dollars and eighty cents for this thing. This thing is dope. It's XL, so it won't fit me. However, I'm pretty sure I'll probably resell it or give it to my mother. Really dope vintage Columbia pullover. The top right here looks more like a blue in the camera, but it's actually like a teal. I love coming across like vintage camp gear, like stuff that's actually like really good quality that'll keep you warm. And it's only six dollars and eighty cents. Normally stuff like this in the thrift stores are always taxed. They're always like 20, 25 bucks regardless of quality. This dope NASA jacket is still here. Sadly, it doesn't fit because this thing is super dope. Eating off gold dinner place though, that's pretty trill, not gonna lie. Feeling like King Midas in this bitch. As you guys can see, I got that paper bag right there and it's not filled up with a 40, but it's actually filled up with 40 pounds of greatness. But anyways, on to the next thrift store, Thrift Town. Hopefully I find some steals because man, I am super, super pumped on the deals that I just found. All right guys, so I was on my way to Thrift Town on Carmichael, I believe it is. But anyways, I saw this Goodwill, so I had to stop. I don't know why I'm pointing over there. It's super bright and all angelic and shit. I'm talking on the phone with Paul Cantu himself. And uh, he said hello. Wait, hold on, let me put you on speaker so you can say hello. Love y'all, hey, subscribe. Jacob and me if you're not already. Pretty cool Firestone Racing Snapback. I'd actually get this if I didn't already have that Formula One Racing Snapback. Snap-on tools uh, Velcro back, I believe, yeah. Shout out to uh, Grant Brandt one time. And then we got the most American hat ever. It's got these like flames on it with the eagle flying in front of the flag. So, uh, America. The Rams must not be very popular out here because I've seen this vest like 50 times at the thrift. I swear I see this quite a bit. This Disney rain shell right here is actually super dope. It's just all black and it's got Mickey right there on the pocket. I'm definitely gonna have to try this thing on. It's size large so it might not fit, but this thing is dope. Fuck, it is actually getting really hot outside right now. It is like burning up in here. It should not be this hot. Anyways, um, I just did the quick stop in the Goodwill. As you guys can see, the back seat is getting more and more filled with stuff. There's so many damn thrift shops. I'm literally down the street from the thrift town and then I saw this random little thrift shop. So I figured I'd go check this one out as well. Got a cougar walking out the door. She, what's up girl? Hip Hop Warhol inspired tea. Pretty dope vintage Atari tea right here. So if you guys know my friend Josh Raps and something he always says when he opens up his songs, who that? 
So sadly, I did not get anything. I will say if you guys are familiar with the area or familiar with that thrift shop, they do have some really good prices. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. All right, so I am at the thrift town on Stockton right now. I am currently complaining to Paul Cantu about this thrift town on Carmichael. I'm waiting on the manager to call me back and basically that's gonna determine on whether I ever shop there. So I saw this pretty dope varsity jacket. As you guys can see, it's made from DeLong. <laughs> that's the uh, elementary school I used to go to in Tacoma, Washington. DeLong Dragons, let's go. Some old school Rockaway right here. More Rockaway. And there was also some Echo. Uh-oh. Shout out to like the early 2000s though. This is a really dope Budweiser jacket right here with sponsorships all over it, front sleeves. This thing is super sick, but it's $70 though. 70 bucks, that's ridiculous. Then they got another dope Dodge Motorsport one right here that's 40. These things are taxed. I'm starting to realize how dope these are, but this is pretty sick. We got the Yao Ming Rockets jersey Reebok. Good condition. Perfect condition, actually, but $25. Then we got the Blake Griffin jersey right here. $30. Bucks, Adidas. Then you got this really cool Adidas soccer jersey right here. This thing is super sick. Perfect condition, too. I actually kind of want to get it. Anyways, the sun is setting, as you guys can see. It's a beautiful sunset. Let me just try to focus this real quick. Get it nice and dark for you guys. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. And there's a Kmart over there, which is very rare. As you guys know, Kmart is always very rare. Those things are few and far between. We have arrived at my favorite thrift town in Sacramento. So uh, let's go in and see what we can find. Man, the sky's gorgeous, huh? Here's a really clean all orange Nike jacket. It's like orange and black. The orange kind of makes it look blue on the borders, but yeah, really clean, perfect condition, but I'm not gonna cop. I'm not really a fan of rockwear, but this is actually kind of a dope rockwear piece right here with like the embroidery or the patches. And then you got this on the back. I don't really like this lettering, but the stitching is pretty sick. They are still charging 40 bucks for this all white Raiders jacket. I know it's taxed, but it's such a sick jacket. And really it'd be like 30 bucks, but if I was from Oakland, I would definitely want this in my collection. Really dope pro layer 49ers jacket right here. This thing is sick. And look at the back. This is why it's so dope. Look at that. 49ers all the way across the back. SF. This thing is dope. NFL experience. This right here is pure fucking fire. It's $10, but it's really dope. DuPont tee. It's kind of faded, but I still might get this just because this thing is so sick. As you guys can see, 24 on the back. This thing is raw. I'm gonna try it on. It's an extra large, so it probably won't fit, but whatever. I've seen this brand Nordica at the Thrift Speed 4 quite a bit, actually. This is a medium, and the quality of this thing is on point. You guys can see the purple, the red, all this like tech stuff going on right here. This thing is dope, like a carbon fiber elbow patch. Found a really dope Burberry's crew neck. For those of you that don't know, Burberry and Burberry's is the same thing, but they had a brand name change due to marketing reasons a long time ago. So yeah, Burberry's crew neck, six bucks. As you guys can see, Burberry's of London, medium for six dollars, definitely copping. Really dope Warner Brothers, Mary Melodies. You got these people all just chilling and shit. I wanna find dope crew necks like this to say Washington, not Wisconsin. Adorable ass National Geographic crew neck. You got this little baby bear climbing on his mama bear's back or father bear i don't really know i'm just assuming it's a mama bear you got all this geometric shit going on if this was on like a better fabric i would actually cop this because i love shit like this with all the geometric shit going on uh oh you got that uzi brand what's up youtube welcome to yet another thrift recap this time i have some serious heat for you guys i have some fuego i got some pieces for me personally that i actually Got for my own personal wardrobe, I got some stuff for resale, I got some stuff for my mom. Basically, I just got a bunch of shit, and I'm just gonna get right into it and show you guys what I picked up. Alright, first up, we have this coffee brown button-up from St. John's Bay that I picked up for $5. Personally, I'm really stoked about this find because this is perfect for me. This is exactly what I want. It's super thick, so it'll keep me warm in the winter. It looks really good, and it will look especially good with some Clarks or something like that. And then on top of that, this whole thing is so soft. The outside feels like a microfiber cloth, so like, the cloth that I carry around to clean my glasses this is what the entire freaking button-up feels like which basically means when I'm out and about I will not need to carry this around if I'm wearing this because I could just use any spot on this jacket to clean my glasses all right well sticking to the finds from that thrift shop in Citrus Heights I also found this vintage Nautica rain shell and this thing is super sick as you guys can see it's really really bright it's in this really bright like highlighter yellow colorway 
It does have a hood under the collar like most rain shells do. It is a pullover. It's got the YKK zips with the little zipper accents that say Nautica. And then these ones on the bottom have the little Nautica emblem. On the back, it has Nautica embroidered and some small letters right there. And it's just centered. I think it just looks super sick. This is an extra large and I picked this up for $2.80. The next piece I actually picked up for my mom, which is this all black Columbia jacket. It's an extra large and I got it for like $6. Columbia is definitely a quality brand. So if you see Columbia for that cheap, Definitely take advantage of it and get it. Alright, stick with the Columbia looking like I hopped straight up out the freaking DeLorean or something. We got this Columbia pullover right here. This thing is super sick. It's got this vintage like teal and purple colorway. I got this for like $6 as well. Anytime I see a good deal on Columbia or North Face, I always say get them. Because Columbia and North Face are high quality brands, but they're really functional brands. So they may be name brand, but they're also functional, which is always, always good. You don't want to pay a lot just for a name, but usually those are two names that are actually worth paying a little extra. However... You don't need to because you can find the shit at the thrifts all the freaking time. Next up, I have another Canada apparel item. This right here says Jasper Canada. I have no idea what Jasper is. I'm guessing it's a place in Canada. For all my Canadians that watch, definitely let me know in the comments below what the f that is. But the main reason I got this is because it is super soft. It feels really, really nice. It fits perfect. And the fact that the ribbing on the bottom isn't like real constricting or anything like that. So it'll be perfect for layering. It'll just kind of layer over. And uh, yeah, it's just a really nice crew neck and I got it for like $2.40. Next up, we have one of the most flame Mickey Mouse apparel items I have ever seen. This thing is super dope. It's an all black Gore-Tex. And as you guys can see, it's just got a picture of Mickey right there on the left breast pocket. I don't know if you guys can see, but on the inside, it is all rainproof. This thing will be perfect for the winter time because in Washington, it does rain a lot. So I'll wear a lot of cold weather gear and then I can wear this over it to keep the rain from damaging any of my garments. But yeah, definitely a really, really sick piece. This was only $5 at Trill Will, so it was definitely a must cop for me. Next up, we have this really dope Adidas soccer jersey in perfect condition. I got this for $6. I definitely cannot complain. I was stoked to find this. I'll probably resell it, but even if I don't end up selling it, it'll look really sick to wear this over a hoodie or something like that. All right, so getting into the final three pieces that I'm actually really excited to show you guys. Starting off with some absolute heat, we got this vintage Burberry crew neck. Now you guys probably can't read this from that far, but if you can, it actually says Burberry's and you guys might think like, oh, that means it's fake, yada, yada, yada. Well, that's what I thought, but I decided to do some investigative research while I was at the thrift store and did a little bit of Googling because it does say Burberry's of London. So I was thinking, okay, well, if it's from London, it can't be just like a straight ripoff, right? So I looked it up and I found out that Burberry's was actually the name of Burberry before they changed their name in like 1999. So basically Burberry and Burberry's is the exact same menu manufacturer so this is a Burberry crew neck but it says Burberry's of London and it was only six dollars or $5.99 to be exact which I actually ended up getting like a certain amount off of that because I spent over 20 and got $10 off yada 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 but regardless this was less than six dollars super dope vintage high fashion as fuck you guys know what that means high fashion vintage HFV tag that shit and your high fashion vintage pickups. And this thing is definitely not my size at all, but it will look super dope when I layer it with like a hoodie or something like that. It's an extra large, I believe. Let me check, yep, extra large. And so I'll wear this over a hoodie, it will look super sick. As you guys can see, it's got hella branding on it, Pepsi, freaking GMAT, Kellogg's, all that shit. And then on the shoulders, it says DuPont, and then it's got more logos on both sleeves, which is super sick. It's got DuPont automotive finishes on the bottom and then it says NASCAR because it's official as fuck. And then on the back it has 24 DuPont and automotive finishes yet again. It's got this like gradient of these different colors going down and this thing is just super dope. I was super stoked to find this. It is a little faded and I wish it wasn't faded and I also wish it was a little smaller because I would like to wear it as like a core piece instead of just layering it over hoodies. But whatever, I was super stoked to find this and ever since I saw that really dope DuPont crew neck that Paul Cantu copped, I've been wanting to find a DuPont piece in the thrifts so I'm super stoked that I found this because I love this kind of gear. Next up we have some more high fashion vintage flame which is this really dope pro layer 49ers jacket and this thing is so sick as you guys can see it says 49ers across the back all embroidered and then it says pro layer embroidered 49ers logo embroidered right here it says NFL experience which is also embroidered someone just texted me but I'm on an embroidery mission right now it says pro layer embroidered on the cuff 
And then it's got the uh, 49ers emblem, and then it says 49ers also once again. Guess what it is? Embroidered. Yeah, you guessed it. That's right. It's embroidered. Anyways, this thing does say size large, but it actually fits like a small, and it is a little short on me, so I will be selling it. If you guys want to make an offer, definitely hit me up on Kick, which is at the Star Life. You guys can also hit me up on Instagram too, which that is at the Star Life. Definitely go follow me on that. But yeah, overall, definitely a sick jacket, and I'm stoked to find this in the thrifts. I love finding really dope vintage flame. I literally touched this, and it burned my hand. That's how flame this thing is. Ah, it's fun. Fire. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Like I mentioned, go follow me on Instagram, which is at the Star Life. I will leave that somewhere on the screen, and it will also be in the description below. But yeah, as always, keep living the Star Life, keep thrifting, keep finding deals, and uh, basically stuff like this. Whenever I have thrift experiences like this, it renews my thrifting energy, and it makes me want to go thrifting a little bit more because I just need to find more heat. I'm pretty sure I have a problem, and I'm addicted to thrifting.